For centuries, humans have been fascinated by the beauty of bubbles and foam. The way these fluid phenomena move, evolve and look have us mesmerized. In fact, artists, painters, photographers have all strived to capture the intricate patterns and vibrant colors that develop on the surface of bubbles. As a student of computer graphics, I wanted to recreate the physical beauty of bubbles in a realistic manner and create some beautiful images. To do this, we have to recreate the physics that governs how bubbles are formed, move and look on our computers. My wonderful research team, headed by Professor Bo Zhu, devised a new method to simulate the evolution and motion of bubbles computationally, using a technique known as smoothed particle hydrodynamics. I won't go too in-depth into this method, but essentially we treat the fluid as a collection of particles and apply the laws of physics onto those particles to make them behave as a fluid. My job in this team was to find a way to convert the simulation data into beautiful videos. So how did I do it? Let's start with the physics. Why do bubbles look so vibrant and vivid? The rainbow colors in bubbles are a result of a phenomenon known as thin film interference. Basically, the walls of the bubble are so thin that when a ray of light enters the bubble, some part of it goes through while some part of it reflects back. The ray of light keeps splitting, some waves reflecting back and some continuing on and on. The waves that reflect back actually interfere with one another and the series of constructive and destructive interference causes the colors in the ray of light to change and form the distinct patterns we call iridescence. There's a ton of math that governs how we calculate this, but I don't think three minutes could do it justice. Now that we know the physics, we just have to recreate it on the computer. To do this, we use a piece of software known as a renderer. We feed the renderer the description of a scene with all the geometries, materials, lighting, objects, everything defined. Renderers then use a technique known as ray tracing, which creates a virtual camera and shoots rays out of the camera to form an image of the scene. Once I chose a renderer that I liked, all I had to do was create a representation of a bubble material. After long hours of sifting through research papers, writing code and playing around with my renderer, I finally was able to take the simulation data and produce something that I felt recreated the beauty of bubbles using math and code. 